Good day, this is Al Koritz. I'm the Applications and Service Manager here at EMS and I'd like to introduce a, a new product that we developed. Uh, they will allow you to work for extended periods in a liquid nitrogen environment without freezing your fingers, uh, thusly. They come in a number five tip. Uh, you can work uh, right down in the liquid nitrogen and the way it's designed it will keep your fingers insulated. I have this thermocouple underneath uh, one of the insulation uh, points but I've got the forceps uh, down in the liquid nitrogen and the temperature without my fingers warming things up is alone uh, at 17 Celsius. Certainly not cold enough to, uh, to impede you and actually if you are manipulating things and your fingers on it, it actually, since it's insulative, it actually warms things up. So you can work in the nitrogen uh, for quite an extended period of time and of course you know you can't immerse the whole thing in there but certainly if you're manipulating uh, grids um, you know that are going to go into a, a cryopuck or one of those capsules and you have a shallow enough dish um, this will all work uh, quite well um, as you can see uh, the tips are well immersed in the nitrogen and the heat from my fingertips uh, and the insulation the temperature is actually going up rather than down now this is a you know I don't know what you've been using in the lab previously you know probably gluing foam strips to an existing pair of forceps uh, uh, or using uh, our ESD forceps which are encased in foam, the anti-static ones. But, but these, uh, uh, these are quite nice to use. Take a little bit of time to get used to them. These are Teflon finger guards so you get a little bit more shielding. But you can see on the meter that the temperature is, is staying quite stable. Now of course uh, you know you need to not immerse your whole fingers in there but you can get you know quite quite low oops my meter shut off I didn't turn it on uh, constant so excuse me why that re reboots so now after going you know even deeper and we're the forceps are our liquid nitrogen temperature but our fingers are about 10 degrees um, but you know working uh, a little bit shallower you can see right away the temperature comes back up um, uh, I'm left-handed so this is a bit awkward uh, although I can use my right hand but but basically this will allow you to work with grids and such uh, with a little bit more uh, comfort and time. Um, the way I've uh, I've designed these is and the plan um, is if you bend the number five tips uh, we can send you a rebuild kit and you can rebuild it on your own. Uh, that's what we'll do initially with we'll just send you another pair of forceps that's set up to, to be assembled in, in this fashion with some instructions and uh, then uh, uh, further along down the road I hope to just have a program where you sent in your bent forceps and we'll do the replacement for uh, you know the cost of the tweezer and a nominal fee um, and as you can see um, where I was working, uh, certainly uh, we're working at liquid nitrogen temperature, you know, right down to here. There's a cold nitrogen gas lake that comes up.
and basically just rolls over the brim. So um, it actually gives you quite a bit of leeway uh, to work in a very cold environment for a prolonged period of time. Um, these are uh, these are number five tweezers. Uh, personally, uh, for cryo, I like using a number two. These are currently not available. This was just my prototype. It was my personal preference. Be you know, everybody has their own uh, personal preferences when they're working with uh, forceps. Uh, but we chose to initially market a uh, number five pair of forceps. Uh, because that has the finest point and will, will allow you to ma manipulate, you know, tiny little auto grids and, and things for cryo TEM.